Hello and welcome to another installment of What We Want. Today we are going to be talking about the concept of adding external PCI Express slots to laptop computers and what that would mean for you. In front of me I have an ASUS G75 VW gaming laptop. This is, or used to be at least, a very powerful, very well built laptop that will set you back about $1000. Now I would never buy a gaming laptop. They're heavy, bulky, the battery life is atrocious, in terms of price performance ratio they're overpriced, and they are an absolute pain to upgrade. That being said, my parents were suckered into buying this laptop at Best Buy. They gave it to me as a very expensive birthday present, hoping it would last me all the way through college. Now let me tell you something. This thing weighs 10 pounds, is roughly the size of a 20 inch monitor, and has a battery life of around 45 minutes. In terms of a laptop for school, a paperweight would be more useful. Of course, at the time, I did not say anything to my parents about the computer. After all, they just dropped a grand on the system uh, for me, so I wanted to appear as grateful as I possibly could. That was in 2012. Let's fast forward to 2015. The Quad Core i7 my laptop still runs every program I throw at it flawlessly, but the GTX 660M was holding the system back. I do a lot of video editing, coding, and 3D modeling, and the GTX 660M was just not cutting it. Now, if this were a desktop, uh, that would not be a problem. I could just drop down 300 bucks and buy a really powerful GPU. But unfortunately, that was not the case for me. So what did I do? Well, I had to fork over $400 and build a whole new computer, settling for a mid-range GPU, the GTX 750 Ti, which is actually a really nice graphics card. But since I had to spend money on the other components as well, I could not splurge and buy the GTX 970 that I wanted. Now here is what I'm getting at. If system manufacturers built PCI Express X16 slots into their high range laptops, then I would not have this problem, and the system would have lasted me another 5 to 6 years. Most laptops already come equipped with PCI Express X1 slots for wireless cards, so I see no reason why manufacturers cannot add an external PCI Express X16 slot. I could have ran a cable from the PCI Express X1 slot inside my laptop to an external video card, but then I would have had to deal with the limited bandwidth of the X1 slot, and I would have had to cut a hole in the laptop to run the cable out of, which would have been an absolute pain, um, and is something that I really did not want to do. An external connector would be much more convenient. All you would have to do is remove a panel and connect your video card to the laptop and install any needed drivers. Additionally, the video card would be easily disconnected, or could be easily disconnected, if you needed to take the computer anywhere. I believe this concept is feasible and is something that would be useful to many users, especially gamers, developers, and graphics designers. A few companies have attempted something similar to this. Alienware built a laptop which could then be hooked up to their own external GPU setup, but this design is using Alienware's own custom interface, and I really only see this as a money-making scheme since you have no choice but to buy Alienware's GPU enclosure. There's also a solution for you guys who are still using laptops with PCMIA slots. A PC PCMIA to PCI Express X16 adapter pops up on the market every once in a while, which will allow you to use a video card through your PCMIA slot. But this solution is expensive. The adapter will cost you around $100, and very few, if any, laptop manufacturers still build PCs with PCMIA slots. So tell me what you guys think. Do you believe adding a PCI Express X16 slot to laptops is a good idea, or do you see no point in the concept whatsoever? That's about it for this episode of What We Want. Up to this point, this series has really been about what I want, um, so in the comments section, I want to hear what you guys want. Tell me your idea, and I can make it come to life thanks to the art of animation. Do not forget to like this video, and please subscribe to my channel. I will see you in next month's installment of What We Want.